Hey guys, welcome back to the Wilson's Take on Oz. Today's video is all about towing and how to hook up your caravan. So if you're not very confident, this will be a great video to watch. And of course, it's raining, so it always rains on pack up day. So that's how it is. Let's get into it. First of all, I'll jack the front up, make sure all the legs are up, and then we'll get into it. Got the trail mate jack, which it's all wet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you, it's simple just jack it up I've already put the back legs up so that's all good front legs are still down but when I jack the front up that lifts them up little trick for you it's nice and easy with this new jack um, you can get the black jack which is just a press of a button but I don't mind so as you can see it's off the ground now there's no weight on it I wind it up the leg all the way up wrong way that way This makes it easier. And then that's all the way up. Pull the handle out, lift that up. Point the leg that way. So when you're driving, if anything's to fail and it drops down, it's not gonna like jam. It'll just slide like that on the road. Bit safer. That's done. We'll go back to the front. All right, so we've got the DO35. It might be different on your van, but with the DO35s, lift this cover off. It's just a rain cover, keep it not wet. Push the red button in, that back, and then that's ready to put onto your car now. We run the LSP drop hitch. It's adjustable, it's got a fair few different um, height adjustments, so that's ours, two from the top. Um, it's rated to 5.5 ton, so it's great. It's got this cover for the pin of the DO35 and take that off now we can jump in the car and reverse back and hook it all up don't mind the mess um, we just got the canopy and I'm just trying to work out where to make it all nice and neat so if you've got any suggestions drop it below and let me know got the Covix um, hitch lock as well That's on the car now. Hit this red button again, and that locks it on. And then, if it's not locked on, locked in properly, this cover won't go on. So there's some security so you know you've always got it right. So I've got it so it's not right now. It will not fit. Press that again. Done. So it's on properly, you know it's all locked in, all safe and sound. Grab your left hand chain, so this side. And then that goes onto the right hand side, your tow bar. And so see how that's tight? You want don't want it be to be too tight. Sorry about the angle as well. I'm a bit squished under here. So make sure it's you don't want it too long. You don't want it dragging on the ground. So about here, that's about perfect. It's got free, free movement. Grab your right hand chain and goes on the left hand side now. That's all connected up here now. And you can see I've got that nice crisscross. So in the worst case scenario, if this ever comes off the car, the chains are going to catch it and it's going to have a little gap so it's not hitting the ground. So you can get a jack underneath it and jack it up. That's why you crisscross your chains always. Now you grab your blue breakaway cable and then you just hook it on there. So if your car come your van comes away from your car, this will pull out 
and then put the van brakes on so it doesn't keep rolling down the hill. Now you grab your cables, your 12 pin plug, pop that in and you'll hear it click. So the bottom lid goes over a lip and you know it's in properly and same as the side one. Grab your Anderson plug and again sorry about the bird's nest of a mess. So your Anderson plug charges your van batteries. Um, I do suggest getting a DC to DC charger as well. We don't have one for the van yet, but we probably will get one. All the chains are on, all the wires are up. You're on the van, on, on the car properly. Breakaway's on. Take off your handbrake. Undo this. that up and do this up then it won't drop down on you so that's how I drive I leave it on there it's been fine so far you might be thinking oh the van's all hooked up it's ready to tow now but it's not these final steps are so important so in New South Wales I'm pretty sure it's illegal to not have towing mirrors so we've got the MSA towing mirrors you can get the cheaper clip-on ones we did have them for a year they were great but these are just so much better they just fold down pull out how easy is that then you can adjust them inside the cabin where you go i'm gonna hop in the car and sophie will be at the back of the van making sure all the lights work You might be wondering, why do we have that sticker on? Well, in New South Wales, it's also illegal to not have that if you're over seven and a half meters long. It's got to be in the left-hand side corner. This allows us to lane share. So we're all legal and that's how you tow. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next week. Oh, don't show them the mess. Cut this yeah, toe thing. Toe thing. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl.